Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we have this nice math oriented challenge. Here we'll be asked to solve this challenge here without the use of a calculator. So, how do we simplify this? I'm going to show you the simple way, the simple steps to solving complex challenges of this kind without the use of the calculator. So, the question says, without the calculator, solve the square root of 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 to the power of 4 plus 111 to the power of 4 all over 2. So let's take our solution here. Solution. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here so that you get our video once they are released. So from here, we want to rewrite this. This could be written as 100 plus 11. Why are we doing so? Because here we have 11 and here we have 100. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this expression here. So this greater give us here is now implied the square root of our 11 to the power of 4 there plus our 100 to the power of 4 plus, let's put this in bracket, this will give us 11 plus 100 r to the power of 4. Let's cover this square, everything all over 2. It is easy, right? Good. So now we have this term, this term is also here, this and this is also here. So we can do some simple substitution here, right? Very easy. So from here, let's do a substitution that will enable us to solve this. So here we say, let um, m, let's take, let m be equal to 11 and let's use n be equal to 100. So we cannot put everything we have here in place of what we have here so automatically our expression now becomes the square root okay of m to the power of 4 uh, plus n to the power of 4 plus bracket m plus n uh, close bracket all to the power of 4 everything all over 2. i believe there's no confusion here good Look at this expression we have here now. We want to expound this. Remember the Pascal diagram? We want to use binomial expansion to expound this alongside the Pascal diagram to get the coefficient of each term. So we are looking for the fifth rule from our Pascal diagram to expound this. Let's quickly bring out the fifth rule. So our fifth rule is going to give us the first coefficient going to be be one then the next one will be four the next one will be six the next one will be four the next one will be one okay so we are to use this coefficient to open our m plus n all to the power of four yeah i will get it something so from here using the binomial expansion or using binomial let's say you're using binomial Theorem or uh, expansion theorem, rather, so binomial theorem. So, how do we now expand this? Very easy. So, this now give us here, here we take the square root, Let's draw this very long here. So, we're going to give us our m to the power of 4 plus n to the power of 4, okay, plus this is what we want to expand here. So, automatically, this is going to give us here this m, please, this m. To the power of 4, the coefficient is 1, then plus the next term is going to give us 4m, then to the power of 3, then n will take that of 1, then plus the coefficient is going to give us 6 here, then we have here m to the power of 2, and n will now be to the power of 2, then the next one will now be 4 plus our m will now be to the power of 1, y n will be to the power of 3, then the next one will now be plus, here we have just our n to the power of 4. Okay, so everything all over our 2. Okay, okay, are we seeing everything here? Yes. So, with what we have in here now, here we have m to the power of 4, here we have m to the power of 4. So we can bring this together. So this now implies the square root is going to give us 2m to the power of 4 
there plus if you check we have n to the power of 4 and here we have n to the power of 4 this will also give us 2 n to the power of 4 there plus so we can I bring these other terms so we have here 4 m to the power of 3 the n plus 6 m to the power of 2 n to the power of 2 there plus our 4 m the n to the power of 3 okay the everything n all over 2 okay are we learning something here yes so let's go systematically again so from this expression here now what can you pick up from everything we have here 2 is common to everything so let's go ahead and factor out 2 from the system so this now give us here the square root here we're going to have here 2 bracket here we have m to the power of 4 plus our n to the power of 4 plus 2m to the power of 3n there plus 3m to the power of 2n to the power of 2 there plus 2m there n to the power of 3 there everything all over our 2 here there these two cannot cancel these two so we we'll succeeded in eliminating two from the system right good so again this you now give us we are left with what we are now left with our m to the power of four there plus n to the power of four plus two m to the power of three n plus three m to the power of two n to the power of two there plus our two m n n please to the power of three okay look at what i want to do here now i want to rewrite this exponent rewrite this exponent and split this into 2 m to the power of 2 n to the power of 2 plus another m to the power of 2 n to the power of 2 so i want to rewrite this now so this now implies that the square root of our m to the power of 2 all raised to the power of 2 this is same thing as this right there plus bracket n to the power of 2 or to the power of 2 there plus i want to take this first here so i'm going to give me a 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 there n to the power of 2 there plus i bring this in here now so we have 2 m to the power of 3 n there plus this very one here i have 2 m n to the power of 3 there plus the one left here is just our m to the power of 2 the n to the power of 2 you just have to manage this space here please okay remember this is what i just split into this and this now if you take a look at what we have here to this place you can spot out a special algebraic identity right from the algebraic identity which says that our x plus y close bracket or to the power of 2 this is equal to our x squared plus 2xy plus our y to the power of 2 you remember this algebraic identity yes we can draw up something of such from our previous work which is this yeah look at it here okay we can draw up that from here so how do we express this in this format they want to express this very one here in this format so this now implies they take our square root sign here so we're going to have here bracket open our m to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 2 close bracket r to the power of 2 there plus our terms we have before we have 2 m to the power of 2 to the power of 3 the n plus our 2 m n to the power of 3 the plus our m to the power of 2 n to the power of 2 let's close up yeah okay if you look at this you discover that our 2 m n is common to this so let's factor that from this expression here so this will now give us here the square root of our bracket m to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 2 or to the power of 2 there plus uh, 2 m n bracket 
if we use this to divide this we're left with our m here there plus here where m to the power of 2 rather so it's going to give us m to the power of 2 there plus our n to the power of 2 close bracket there plus now if we look at this we can write this as m n r to the power of 2 easy right good again if you look at what we have here now we can still see this algebraic identity playing out here with what we have here now okay so we can rewrite the whole of this expression in this format here so how do we do that this will now automatically give us the square root bracket open our m to the power of 2 plus our n to the power of 2 plus our m n close bracket r to the power of 2 any confusion i believe there's no confusion so the essence of all we have been doing is to bring out a square root here so that is what we have now so this radical can take care of this power here so when i have this to be our m to the power of 2 plus n to the power of 2 plus m n now recall at the beginning we said recall we said um if you recall we said let m be equal to 11 and n be equal to our 100 you remember something of such good so we can go ahead and put this value into this our expression we have here so this now implies that we're going to have 11 to the power of 2 plus 100 to the power of 2 plus 11 times 100 easy right okay so this return will give us what is 11 to the power of 2 that will give us 1 2 1 plus and 100 to the power of 2 will give us 0 0 0 0 and plus 11 times 100 will give us 11 0 0 so if we go ahead to add everything together this will end up giving us 1 1 2 2 1 so this is the final answer to our uh, special math Olympiad challenge, which is the square root of 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 to the power of 4 plus 111 to the power of 4 all over 2. So without the use of calculator, this is how we get our answer. So if you learned something from the procedure, the step we applied in solving this math challenge, then give the video a thumbs up and if you are clear with any of the steps then drop it in the comment section we are there to reply to all your comments again this is math prowess if you learn something from this video do not hesitate do not forget to share with others who need this knowledge bye for now